priest cards. Confuse. Um, this is a, a card that is aptly named because finding a way to use this is somewhat confusing to me. I mean, this is just like not a card that seems like it is, is likely to see a lot of competitive play, uh, in part because, and this is something that is actually, it's actually pretty, uh, pretty consistently an issue with priest decks, is that they have lots of cards that are situational and you know, are sort of based on setting up these kind of combos. Um, but I don't really necessarily see this being a card that uh, really fits into a more consistent style of Priest deck. You know, it's, I can definitely imagine making cool, fun, combo style decks with this card, like you're trying to, you know, massively buff the health of a Death Lord and then, and then confuse and switch things around. I mean, it's also potentially like a reasonable card um, to some degree against uh, against aggressive decks, you know, that have a bunch of two ones, you confuse, and now they're one twos, and that's okay. But is that worth a card? You know, you you've halved the amount of of uh, of stats on you know uh, aggressive stats on each of your opponent's creatures. But is that better than than other things you could do against them? It's not clear. Um, I mean, it is kind of cute that you can use uh, Shrinkmeister plus Confuse to kill things. Um, but again, like, is that is that worthwhile? You're you're investing, you know, sort of this combination to kill a, you know, kill a two attack minion or whatever. I don't know. It, it's hard for me to uh, to imagine that this is uh, a card that will will consistently show up in competitive play. Holy champion! So this is a this is actually a pretty cool card. Um, you know, a three five with the the light warden effect. So light warden is actually quite powerful. You know, we've seen with light of the Naru. Um, that that uh, Light Warden, if it's not, you know, if you have to pay for Light Warden itself up front, uh, is actually able to close games out, like, quite quickly. And as I mentioned when we were talking about Confuse, one of the issues with Priest is generally that it has a lot of reactive and situational cards that don't necessarily, uh, don't necessarily work all that well consistently because they need to come together in the right way. Um, Holy Champion is a card that... Uh, can close out games very quickly and actually gives a ton more value to a lot of priest cards that otherwise are slightly overcosted. Like one of the problems that priest has is that you know uh, a card like Holy Nova. Holy Nova is a, is a, a card that you compare to Consecration and it's just if you don't care about the healing, it's just worse. You know if you if you are looking to just have a a mass removal effect for opposing minions, you're just paying one more mana for the same effect when you compare Holy Nova to Consecration. But once you add things that care about healing, then you're getting a lot more value from that Holy Nova. Like if you have a Holy Champion in play, Holy Nova can be kill your opponent's stuff and do 10 damage because you healed five things. Um, similarly, like this is a card that makes Circle of Healing better because Circle of Healing, you know, is a card that is often sort of dead in your hand, just kind of sitting there and not really able to do much with it um, unless you're able to set up a big combo. But your big combo previously had to include you know, say exactly uh, Northshire Cleric or a Light of the Narrow that had already, you know, resolved and had, you know, you're able to protect the minion. But once you start adding more pieces that can fit together in these combos, the combos themselves get better because there are more interlocking parts that can actually, that can actually uh, do something meaningful. So this, I think, is actually a, a card that may help make Priest decks viable. Uh, because it adds, it allows those combos to come together more frequently and gives you a way to close out games, which many priest decks have been lacking. One of the things that's sort of characteristic of most good decks in Hearthstone right now is that they are either very, very aggressive or they have a way to kill their opponent very quickly with burst damage. Um, priest has generally lacked either of those. Priest has typically been a deck that was uh, very control oriented and didn't, didn't aim to end the game quickly. Um, in part because the hero power of heal your guy isn't particularly aggressive. Um, but once you add a card like this that is basically a Light Warden that has a much higher chance of living through a turn, uh, you're able to have many more possibilities to assemble burst damage combos that could end the game very quickly. So I can imagine this maybe even bringing back the sort of old style of Priest decks with, uh, you know, Pyromancer and, uh, and uh, Circle of Healing, because, you know, Pyromancer plus uh, Powered Shield plus Circle of Healing with Champion, it's like, okay, suddenly your opponent's dead because you just healed 10 guys, you got plus 20 attack, and you dealt 23 damage. So 
Definitely a strong card that will open up possibilities for Priest decks to actually have tools to close out games. All right, Flash Heal. The card that you want to compare Flash Heal to is Light of the Naru. And you know, they're they obviously two cards that do pretty similar things. They heal a certain amount for one mana. Light of the Naru obviously has the additional uh, effect of uh, being able to generate a creature, whereas Flash Heal is just a slightly stronger effect for the same mana. So if you're looking for straight up healing, Flash Heal is generally going to be a better card. Um, but if you're looking to get a, a bit more utility out of the card, Light of the Naru is the choice. Um, it, this is particularly important when you're you're looking at uh, its utility with Akanai Soul Priest. Um, with Light of the Naru, Akanai Soul Priest can kill three health minions or deal three damage to minions, whereas Flash Heal just does five damage. So that's a pretty big jump in terms of like the the size of creatures you're actually able to kill. Um, also, when you're you, you start thinking about things like Prophet Valen, Prophet Valen doubling obviously doubles five to to ten, whereas you know three only becomes six. There's some there's some serious math for you. Um, and if you you know you you have again Akanai plus Valen, like that's just ten damage. There's a mind blast for one. Um, so I think this is a card that may see some amount of play depending on the sort of things people are trying to do with their decks. Um, one thing that is nice about this is that comparing it to uh, some of the other the other healing cards available to priests. Like for instance, in a lot of decks, when I was playing priests, I would actually just play um, I'd actually just play Holy Fire, even though I didn't necessarily want the Holy Fire effect. I didn't care that much about the five damage, but it was just a healing effect. I wanted a healing effect. Similarly, you'd see priest decks that would play uh, anti heal bot, and in many cases they were playing anti heal bot not necessarily because they wanted the body and the heal, but because it was the best way to get get a big burst heal effect in priest. And with Flash Heal, you know, Flash Heal can potentially replace those cards in decks that mostly wanted those effects for self-healing. Being able to keep yourself alive cheaply uh, can be very meaningful if you're looking to, to play a deck that is trying to sort of turn the corner to the late game. Because uh, you can't necessarily play any of the big healing effects that exist in Priest outside of, uh, you know, outside of anything else in the same turn. You, you could play 6-drop Flash Heal myself which allows you to, you know, start like generate a board presence that's meaningful because six drops can be pretty big and help you bridge to the later turns of the game while keeping yourself alive. So, I, you know, I think this is a card that may see play in those contexts. I like the fact that it offers real sort of healing healing utility to priest which strangely enough didn't have any great cheap healing. Um, and if, if priest decks are looking to play sort of a controlling plan uh, and build to the late game, uh, it's quite valuable. Also works very well with Wild Pyromancer because it has another cheap spell. So, as to whether you, you know this is a card that's going to have a meaningful impact compared to Light of the Naru, I think it depends what decks are looking for. If you're looking to play a deck that is that, that uh, cares a lot about the possibility of getting the the big damage from Light of the Naru uh, from the actual Light Warden effect, then you're going to want that card. But if you're looking for pure efficiency in terms of healing, I think that Flash Heal is actually uh, a very viable choice.